you want to fix your storage issue and add more ports to your Mac Mini, you should check out the Acasis workstation for the M4 Mac Mini. This is made of aluminum, feels really high quality, and it adds a ton of great ports to the front, the back, as well as two NVMe SSD slots on the side as well that you can run in RAID mode to get incredibly fast storage on your Mac Mini. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at all the features this has, who I think it's for, a couple issues I have with this, and if I think you should buy this or look for a different solution instead. I do wanna say, Acasis has sent me this enclosure to review. This is gonna be based on my thoughts about it and who I think it's for. You do have to use some screws if you wanna actually insert the Mac Mini. So there's four screws that you undo by the feet. There's also a single screw on the side of it that removes this cover where you can install your SSDs. And the bottom plate of this is a little bit tight. This whole thing is made of aluminum and I think they should have made this fit a little bit easier because you do kind of have to move it back and forth to actually get the bottom out of it. It's incredibly easy to set this up with the Mac Mini though. All you have to do is actually take your Mac Mini, insert it in the side, and then you just put the feet back in. And this is where that tight fit is a little bit of a nuisance. You really gotta line it up and make sure that you get it in just right. And then you put the four screws back in on the side. Although this fits so snug, I didn't really even find the screws to be necessary on that. It's also incredibly easy to set up the SSDs on this. These use a tool-free design, so you just simply insert the SSD at an angle, press it down, and then you use these little rubber stoppers that keep it held in place. A case this also includes these thermal pads that they do recommend placing on top of your SSDs. You can use all the way up to eight terabyte NVMEs in this, so you can add up to 16 terabytes of storage. And we'll get into some cool options with the storage here in a little bit as well. And then you just put the cover back on the side and you use the included Torx screwdriver to attach it. This does require you to use one of your Thunderbolt ports of the Mac Mini. Just plug it in like this and you're ready to go. So on the back of this, there's two display ports and these are gonna support all the way up to 4K 144 hertz if you use just one. If you use both of them, then you'll top out at 4K at 60 hertz. A case this also includes this power adapter in the box. They said you might not have to use it, but if you're running into issues with speed slowdown or the device not working, that's when you want to use the power adapter instead. But otherwise, it just gets 15 watts of power directly from the Mac Mini. And then on the top of it, you have two UHS-2 SD card slots, one full size and one the micro SD slot. And I love it. That's the faster speeds. On the front of it, there's three USB-A ports, and there's also the power button for the dock. So at first I didn't understand why the dock wasn't working. You have to actually power it with that. The other thing that's cool about this is it has an actual switch on the side of it that presses the power button on the Mac Mini, which is a really nice feature that they added. To set up RAID mode on this, first install the SSDs, plug this in, turn it on, and then go to Disk Utility on your Mac. Click File and then go to RAID Assistant. And then you can choose between RAID 0, RAID 1, or JBOD. RAID 0 is going to split your data across both the drives and allow for the fastest possible SSD speeds. RAID 1 is going to put your data on both the drives, which will be a little bit slower, but it means if one of the drives fail, you're going to be backed up. This does come at the cost, though, of half the storage. So if you have two one terabyte drives, you still only get one terabyte of data storage on this. Or you can put it in JBOD where the Mac Mini will actually see both of the drives as individual drives. So if you have two SSDs in it, then it's gonna see drive one and drive two separately. Anytime you go to reformat it or put it in RAID mode, you will lose all the data on your NVMe. So make sure you have it backed up before you do that. The main thing I love about the Acasis workstation is the fact that it makes it look like a mini Mac Pro and it feels really hefty and high quality when you get it. So it's not like any old boring dock that you get for a Mac mini or your computer. This actually kind of elevates the look while also giving it that Apple-like experience. They did put the Acasis logo on the side of it, which I think they could have done without just to give it that clean look. I don't mind the one on top of it because you don't notice it as much. And I also love the little handles that they put on this as well. I love having USB-A ports on the front of it so that you can always be ready to keep additional devices plugged in like flash drives that for whatever reason, it seems like there's still a million USB-A flash drives floating around in the world. I think one drawback to this is the fact that the back ports are still pretty limited. So I use a lot of musical equipment that uses USB-A ports, and I'd love it if those ports to plug those devices in were on the back instead of the front so I didn't have to have cords going around to the front of it. This docking station does have a couple trade-offs though. You are gonna lose one of your Thunderbolt ports on the back and you get no additional USB-C type ports to go on the back of it. And also you may find that your SSD speeds will slow down a bit if you're using the display ports on the back of it because of all the extra bandwidth that's needed to keep displays plugged into. Now the important part, the price. The Acasis 8-in-1 dock typically goes for about $150 which really isn't a bad price whenever you compare it to a standard Thunderbolt dock or the cost of a separate fast NVMe SSD enclosure. So I think that this gives you a great all-in-one solution. 
that gives you tons of connectivity, the clean desktop look at a pretty reasonable price. So if you're thinking about buying this, I think there's really a couple things to consider. If you wanna get the fast NVMe SSD speeds in a compact and sleek looking package, I think this is gonna be a great option for you. If you've been looking for a way to add NVMe's in RAID configuration for either faster speeds or redundancy, then this is also gonna be a great option for you. If you constantly need a UHS-2 SD card or micro SD card slot on your Mac Mini, this is gonna be a great option. The power button on the side is great and convenient. I think the only drawbacks to this are the fact that it's a little bit too tight of a fit on the bottom, which once you get it set up, it really doesn't matter. And then the other issue is, I wish instead of the display ports on the back, I wish you got a couple USB-C or USB-A ports on the back instead, or maybe in this middle space as well. I think that would just allow you to have a cleaner looking setup if you're using more external audio gear like I am. But what do you think of the Acasis workstation? I've got links to buy this in the description below. If you got any questions about it, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear them. Like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.